Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Mega Mech with Marlow Stingrays, where we get started on our third contract. And uh, uh, before we actually dive in here, let's go ahead and actually go through our uh, our unit list. Because I've made some changes since the uh, last contract and uh, reshuffled some people. And uh, uh, those of you who were, who've been here know, will notice we actually have a third company now. So uh, we definitely had enough... Well, not really mechs, but we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, I think it's just important here to go ahead and just start off with uh, what do we bring into the fight? In the command lance of the Pacific Battalion, of course, we have Major Marlow still in his, well, his, his Orion. That Marauder has been reassigned. Uh, so he's probably going to stay in this uh, Orion for quite some time. Uh, I've got uh, Khan in his uh, Shadowhawk still. Uh, Chung. Actually, I need to add a person here. I, I took out somebody. Let's go ahead and go into overflow, and I'll just assign something random here. Uh, I like these Pegasus. It's, uh, you, you've been around for a while. Okay. Uh, Mulan is in her striker still. I, I've moved Garth into this Lance when in, in his uh, newly uh, refitted rifleman, and uh, well, now we have a Pegasus in his Lance. Going into the uh, Stingray Company, uh, the Command Lance of Stingray Company, of course we have Captain Gardner. Uh, she's in her Banshee. I don't think I've changed a whole lot here. Uh, still got the Behemoth, Crazy Ivan, uh, Jesse Nardini in his Shadowhawk still, and Cisco is in his uh, Crusader. The Heavy Lance, I think it's shrunk a little bit since last we saw it. Uh, uh, Tina is in her Hunchback. I've got uh, Triple T in the Grasshopper, uh, Gunny is in his Javelin still, and I think I've moved Lando to this Lance in his Blackjack. I think I moved him to it, or who did I move out? I think I moved Garth out of this, because it was too big. Uh, she doesn't have the uh, leadership skill to actually command that many mechs. So. Then the A-Team, we have Hannibal and the Victor, Mr. T in the Thunderbolt, uh, Howling Mad Murdoch in his uh, Panther, and Face Man in his Vindicator. Moving on to the Manta Company. The command Lance, of course, the Nokita Lance. We've got the Nokita Twins in the Warhammers, which are also newly up, up, uh, refitted into 6D variants. And then we've got two Archers. We've got Mel and uh, Indio and the Archers. The Proving Lance. Uh, I did go ahead and spend some uh, XP to give him a second leadership uh, skill point, so he can actually do the full uh, six people. Uh, JD is in the Awesome Steel, and he is training, uh, well, some of these people don't have names yet, or permanent names, but uh, this guy's in a Gladiator, a Phoenix Hawk, a Cicada, oh, that Oscar. I was going to think about moving her out of it, but eh. It's still a training lance, let's go ahead and just use one of these Oscars. We've got two of these things now. <laughs> Those don't know, this is what an Oscar is. It's a 35 ton mech, it actually books and can jump, but all it has is one medium laser. And actually pretty weak armor, all things considered. Of course it's a light, what are you going to do? And the Phoenix, so I have uh, somebody in the Phoenix again. And then in uh, what I'm calling Mother Lance now, because uh, uh, Victoria commands it, and her call sign is Mom. But uh, she's in the refitted uh, Rifleman, the 3C variant, and she is in command of uh, Biff in the Fire Javelin, uh, Joel in the Falcon, and uh, Malfoy in a Shadowhawk. Now for the new company and the new promotions. We've got the Skate Company. Uh, the Command Lance is going to be uh, Captain... Well, it's going to be Captain Rogers. Uh, Captain Steve Rogers. I put him in the Marauder, and he is actually in command of this entire company now. Uh, he's actually really a relatively new acquisition. He's, we just got him, what, last month? Yeah. But he had four tactics, and I just, well, I, I kind of have to go ahead and roll with that. Uh, he's actually got an extra leadership skill. We can throw something in this as well. Just want to check the weight bands. Oh, yeah, we can put pretty much anything in here. Anywho, he's got a uh, the LT4 hover tank. And now Pegasus, and we also put in the Scorpion and uh, Speedy and her Griffin up in this command lance. 
and the big lance uh, this is where I moved Rapunzel uh, she's still in her Vindicator I've got uh, I put in a Manticore a Hetzer and the Javelin this is the, our new veteran uh, Javelin pilot he's really really good uh, he was actually a candidate for uh, a leader as well but she had she had three and uh, part of it uh, when you actually uh, uh, promote somebody to an officer they get a random skill point in one of the uh, leadership skills so she got an extra point in tactics and then I went ahead and put uh, uh, Martian Manhunter as his own uh, uh, leader uh, since we had that little special event last contract where he kind of got a little bit of leadership skill to begin with so I went ahead and just made it official made him an officer he's still in a Phoenix Hawk uh, he is uh, with two leadership he can actually have the full reinforced lance so uh, he's got a Condor, I went ahead with Sanchez and his warrior. Uh, he's got a Saracen, a Locust, and a Janner. This still puts him up to a medium level uh, as far as weight's concerned, unfortunately, but uh, can't really be helped without actually just putting every all six people in a basically a 20 tonner, and that ain't going to happen. So we'll just have to roll with it. So that's everybody. Uh, we do still have quite a number of infantry personnel uh, still got our people in the search and rescue which is probably what's going to remain for now uh, we've also got a full squadron of aerospace fighters which probably isn't going to be used this contract uh, we still got we got those uh, rules still percolating for the next contract uh, then we've got uh, maxima pegasus and this extra stuck it just kind of an overflow that's, that's actually man now we actually have more mechs than that that we could actually still assign we need we need mech warriors but uh, I think it's important to go ahead and get into uh, some more uh, contracts and the contract is <laughs> we just got done defending Rush Haven from some uh, ne'er-do-wells working for the uh, Outworlds Alliance now now we get to go down to where is it it's here it is Mishkal and uh, we are going to actually be aiding the uh, Davians, the Federated Sons, in attacking the Outworld Alliance. So a little bit of a turnabout here. Um, I don't know. I find, I find it rather amusing. Let's go ahead and uh, begin the transit process. This isn't going to take too long. We're going to speed through it. But one thing I need to actually remember to do before we go on is go into the personnel market and turn this off. Make normal rules. I'm saying make normal rules, but when we're in transit, we do not actually get you know people. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and advance. It's going to take uh, 72 days. Let's go ahead and advance 30 days at a time until we actually get closer. April, or no, June, didn't it? No, May. What am I thinking? We were in April. We're in May now. Uh, Dropships, just wanted to see if there's any random annoyance from uh, failed uh, maintenance rolls. It doesn't look like anything so far. Nope, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and go another 30 days. And then I need to check to see exactly what day we're supposed to actually arrive. transit all of a sudden. Yeah, we're actually transiting into uh, the planet already. It doesn't take any time at all. Uh, I do have people getting experience for the beginning of the month. And let's, uh, let's go take a look at the contract itself. Now, for some reason, these guys aren't showing up as in the mission. I don't know why. It has me a little bit concerned, and I, and I can't select it. Uh, let's see, our official start date is the 13th. I think we're going to arrive before then. Unless, is, is this system just that big? Oh yeah, it takes 17 days to get from the star to the planet itself. Man, this is this is like extra cold planet. It seems like it might be. It doesn't really have a specific description to it. But it seems like it's an ice planet. go into, I guess advance multiple days, go ahead and advance, 
Well, you know, let's go ahead and get into a Monday first. That's our new month is ticked over. And this month will actually be relevant as far as the unit market. So let's go ahead and take a peek in here, see if there's anything that really catches our eye. Um, don't really care about vehicles. Hmm. This guillotine might be interesting. Jumper, 70 ton jumper, uh, acceptable armor, a uh, bit of a missile boat with an SRM-6, what kind of heat sinks does it have, 22? So it could, they could fire a lot of this, let's, see, well, let's actually do the math here, 12, 20, 24. Yeah, it, it could really, I mean, it would have to lay off a large laser occasionally, but I kind of like this. It's a little bit of a markup. Got another Warhammer here, wouldn't be too bad. Again, at a markup though. Oh, here's a guillotine that's cheaper. Ooh, how much money do we have? We have 55 million in the bank. <laughs> Get ourselves an assault. Cyclops. That's tempting. Uh, Thunderbolt SE. A lot of these are tempting. I kind of like a lot of these. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and not buy anything yet, but uh, try to come back to this. Hopefully I'll remember to come back to this before, uh, before long. But I want to actually get into, onto Planetfall and actually see if we can find a contract before uh, I end this video. And I think I'm kind of going a little long anyway. Let's get into Monday. Uh, we're not planted yet, so that personnel market is not going to be ours. What day was it again we start? We start on the 13th. Let's go ahead and advance seven days. And I think this personnel market will be relevant. A new mechanic, okay, you're hired. Let's go ahead and get into Planetfall. How much further do we got to go, does it say? I kind of wish I said here somewhere. The 13th is when we start. Okay, yeah, we're here. We're to the 13th. Uh, have some quality uh, going up. That's good, 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 good. And I think there shouldn't be a whole heck of a lot yet. Okay, everybody is set to the correct mission. I do need to actually put people in the correct uh, postures, though. Uh, okay, he's going to stay in training. kind of want to keep some people in the uh, a passive stance. We need to put up to six people in here. Let's, I'm going to put the escape company in a... Uh, Scout posture. Just to get them a little involved here. I want to actually get our, our new people involved. So it puts you in attack or fight, I guess. I'll put no, Nikita. Nikita Lance. I wouldn't mind you being in fight stance. And where's the other one? Little Lance, Big Lance. Big Lance hasn't been assigned yet. Let's put you in a defensive posture. And I need to put somebody else in attack. Let's put... Uh, I guess this is Olivia's company. We're going to put them in the fight stance as well. So i got three fight. Let's scout. Let's just unassign you for now. Unassign you for now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can unassign you. So we got some spares we can actually trade in and out. Uh, looks good to me, at least for the first uh, first series of attacks here. Let's go ahead and get into the weekend proper. And we have our first battle, a probe as the attacker. Uh, it's probably our new scout lance. Yeah, little lance. This is going to be the first uh, first mission for the Martian Manhunter. 
It's actually, it's a straight up, it, it's, it looks like a stand-up fight, uh, just a little uh, less intense. Instead of going to half, we go to a quarter. I kind of like that. Uh, we're going to have an allied javelin with us, and we're going to be fighting against a wolverine, uh, LT4 hover tank, scorpion, a goblin. It's actually kind of heavy for what we're actually bringing. <laughs> But that's part of the problem with uh, he's in, he's actually considered a medium length. But we'll see if we have any kind of reinforcements. Whatever we'll do those rolls here in just a minute. Uh, go into the personnel market. See, we found a new mech warrior. Excellent, excellent. Um, you're hired. And I'll, you know what? Not only are we hired, we're going to actually go back to the unit market and buy some stuff. I want mechs. Uh, I want this thunderbolt. I want the cyclops. I want this guillotine. And for now, I put this down to 35 million. Do I want any of this? I mean, these are at a markup. But I wouldn't mind having them. What, what, what about in the uh, other sections here? Uh, here's a pretty cheap centurion. Let's go ahead and buy this. I like the javelins. We'll go ahead and buy this. Don't need stingers. Don't definitely don't want Phoenix Hawks. Uh, Vulcan, fairly cheap Vulcan. So got the what these things got twelve. Uh, you can't really maintain. What, what's your weight? Your weight is forty tonner. Fairly yeah, a little light on the armor. Not too bad. Your jump six nine. You know what? We'll buy this and we'll be done. I still need Mech Warriors, dang it. <laughs> but uh, we're going to assign our newbie to... Uh, which one? Let's put the, her in the uh, the guillotine. There you are. And uh, you're a private. Cause you start in as a private. Do, 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 do. Assign a unit. Pilot of the guillotine, where are you? There you are. Awesome. And I, I still need to find names. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, put a pause in here. We'll actually, I'll, when we start up next uh, next episode, we'll actually start on the 21st, which should be Friday? Friday or Saturday? Well, this is the 16th, so yeah, it's probably Saturday. But we'll start up there. We'll be ready to actually roll on this uh, attack. No rerolls because he doesn't have tactics. It's a wooded, deep wood, so it's going to be very uh, heavy wooded uh, type of thing. Okay. Um, I guess we'll put a pause in here. Until next time, crash and burn.